Hey guys, uh, how is it going? Happy Friday. So I'm making another video today uh, again on region ports, uh, region ports, region ports. So um, just few more thoughts, random thoughts that I got when I was uh, talking to a lot of people. So I mean, obviously we have a lot going on and then everybody is not sure about uh, what's going to happen and so. So I, uh, <clears throat> again, it's all the thoughts and I might sound like so obvious and everybody would say, oh, I kind of know this. Uh, this is more towards uh, just trying to speak my mind and also to get your views because uh, it's definitely going to be obvious, but uh, sometimes it's better to talk out. So uh, before that, uh, I would like to thank you for, I'm just looking at my YouTube page. That's why I'm not looking at the camera. So we are close to about 890 subscribers, close to 900. Thank you. Thanks a lot for subscribing. And today is Friday. Uh, happy, happy Friday, happy weekend. Well, it's about 8.40 now in the evening, so thought of doing a video. Okay, so uh, by this time, based on the second, uh, based on the video that I um, I posted two, three days ago, uh, have you chose, chosen your side? Uh, I started to get a lot of queries uh, on YouTube about um, where they have to join to be honest, I would say you should go with the bigger teams, um, the uh, SLC or the Road Warriors. <clears throat> no brainer, right? So if you still haven't made up your mind and if you need uh, another alternative to RW and SLC, uh, please let me know. I mean, I have some friends who, uh, who are doing something like just forming a small family and so just living happily. So uh, if you are still uh, trying to get uh, the... Uh, uh, get a home or get a family uh, just just drop me a note online so I'm going to leave my line ID uh, in the in the description so uh, just drop me a note and I'll kind of link you up to some some of my friends uh, they belong to different families so they're creating smaller families here and there so I might kind of introduce you to two or three such families that they are trying to do so and then you can choose and obviously I would still say you should go with uh, road warriors or SLC that should be your goal but uh, I know it's not easy for some uh, alliances to get in because uh, because of your size and so on so don't worry if you need some contacts just drop me a note and I'll link you up to um, to the uh, some of the people that I know they are doing I haven't still made up my mind I'll, I'll have to I'll have to see how it goes so I'm kind of stuck with uh, my friends I want to be with them for some time uh, but um, yeah, so I'll see how it goes, obviously, so I need some time. But if you haven't made up your mind, let me know. Cool. So now back to the thoughts. So that's why I'm here. Uh, so uh, the uh, uh, what I was actually thinking of is um, uh, the uh, bubble, right? The bubble, they said, no, sorry, not the bubble, sorry, the port, region ports. So they said once you kind of uh, port into a region, you will have to wait uh, for three weeks before you the cooldown period before you can actually go out so uh, my question is how if you can actually set up some dummy alliances just send it there three weeks prior to it and then uh, once you are there and then if you don't like the kind of alliance that you are in you can actually join the new alliance and then that alliance will have the cooldown period done and then the whole alliance can be moved because the general has uh, the ability so uh, I'm not sure whether these kind of workaround would work. If that's the case, uh, we might actually have to get uh, more enemies uh, more often. So the three three week cooldown period doesn't make sense anymore because if they allow the whole region to port, uh, maybe I don't know if it's only for the first time they will actually allow you to port your entire region. Uh, and after that, you would kind of stuck with the region. I mean, that's still unanswered. Uh, so let's play out the scenario if they kind of allow you to move alliances from one region to another region post the uh, region one two three forms uh, my concern is that you can actually uh, cheat this system by creating multiple alliances and then uh, put in different uh, regions so you would get a three week uh, advantage even you can actually put uh, two or three different dummy alliances in different uh, regions and then you can actually just like how would you time your bubbles uh, you can actually time it in a way that you would be able to port regions within a week or within three days depending on where you want to go so 
if they kind of allow the alliance to jump from uh, post the uh, uh, region port, I think this might happen and this might kind of cause some so sort of uh, imbalance. Uh, so we should, we should watch out for that. Uh, and uh, assuming the other scenario where, sorry about the light, it's, uh, I thought it would just create a halo effect on my head. Uh, so, so the other scenario is what I'm thinking of is um, if they only allow the region, uh, they will only allow the alliance port to the new region only once. So once you go into the region, you got to wait for three weeks and have to move individually. So the alliance would kind of stay there. I don't know if that's possible. Again, that makes no sense. If if uh, entire alliance have to wanted to move to another region, then you got to get rid of the alliance and then you got to move. So otherwise, you got to put a dummy there. Uh, dummy general there and then you go go and come back it's kind of chaos so I don't know whether Ember has thought through how they want to do this I'm pretty sure they would have uh, but they don't have uh, the uh, uh, full details yet but I was just thinking how this would be uh, this would be uh, panning out so uh, just something to keep in mind about this and I also I had a thought what would actually happen if you're already on a perma bubble they said you will be given a three-day bubble. I'm pretty sure people who went through the merge would actually answer this. I haven't gone through a merge, so uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of dummy in this. I don't even know what's, uh, how it looks like when it, uh, the region merge happens. So people who have gone through the region merge, can you please uh, leave a comment if you know this? Uh, if you already are in a three-day bubble and then you kind of want to move, will you get an additional three-day bubble for free? I think Ember should do that because uh, just because you didn't use the free one, they shouldn't be penalizing you. Or either they should be adding a three days straight away to your shield, plus whatever you have. Uh, I hope one of these two options will be available instead of just uh, moving and then you don't get anything. That's going to be that's going to be you know, sucky. Uh, so these are the two things I don't know, and I was just kind of thought it's interesting to to talk about it. It might be obvious to a lot of people. I'm really sorry if uh, you think that these are very elementary so yeah some questions for me it's like more of a, more of a uh, uh, assurance what's going to happen so let's see how it goes okay so the, uh, the those are those are the two things that i really really wanted to uh, uh, to put in front of you for discussion and then uh, the other thing that i really wanted to kind of start uh, people thinking about is uh, the map itself, right? So right now we have a US map. Uh, I don't know whether given that they have the commander's uh, history, I feel like maybe they would come up with a world map instead of an US map. So where you have a much larger uh, area to play with given that we'll have so many people to port. Uh, so if that happens, I think um, we should actually start to think about uh, what would be the ideal way to uh, what would be the ideal way to uh, port? Where should where should we port? Uh, islands are better. Some people think maybe it's a uh, plain lands would be better, or or a peninsula kind of thing. I don't know. Just uh, it's an individual preference. Some people uh, when we went to the U.S. map, a lot of people flooded to uh, Florida, or it could be somewhere in the uh, somewhere in the East Coast. Uh, the west coast again it's all the coastal area that they to they took also some of the uh, some of the islands they had in the uh, uh, southwest region and also the northeast region was kind of occupied so i don't know uh, what would be the right way to go but uh, i feel like you guys should ta start thinking about it uh, whatever could be the uh, the map you should you should all start to think about where you want to port how you want to place your cities and so on and I'm going to kind of go back to the drawing board. I love it. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the drawing board and draw uh, uh, some of the ideas, not some of the ideas, the only idea that I know. So it could be the lamest idea, but I just wanted to kind of throw it out uh, to, and, and I'm pretty sure 99 out of 100 people would already know this, but uh, I just want to kind of document this as a video in case uh, if I want to refer it back. So, uh, so this, I'm going to talk about how basically we can set up uh, a hive uh, uh, in a way that you you secure uh, certain people and how you want to do this and so on. So uh, that's something I, I would like to do it uh, on the drawing board. Uh, so again, uh, going back to the point, if you guys are struggling with finding a family or something, just drop me a note online. I'll try to find some of my friends, uh, speak to you, and then you can take it up from there. So um, let me go back to the drawing board now. Yep. 
Okay, so here we are uh, with the uh, with the whiteboard again. Uh, so here here is the scenario, right? So let's assume that uh, you have uh, some sort of area that you wanted to kind of port. Uh, first of all, think about it. So where you want to port, uh, and uh, is that the whole family going to port? So let's assume something of this type of area that you're going to get, and uh, I'm pretty sure you kind of know this. I'm sorry if it if it's like so. So elementary again, I'm trying to explain it here. Uh, so most of the times what I see, again, I think people kind of know this, but it's really, really hard to implement since you're going into the new region and, and everybody has a region port, so not region port. Everybody will have an upgraded teleport. So once you go into the new region, everybody will have uh, a free upgraded teleport to move. So use that wisely so that you don't have to have a uh, problem. So I, I, I see that a lot of people... Uh, the bigger guys always go into the middle of these. If, if this is the hive area, I don't know why the, the big guys who would fight the most would be sitting in the middle of the uh, um, uh, middle of the hive, and then they would actually go out and hit somebody, and then they'll be like, "Oh, there is a hole in the hive. Somebody fill it." And then obviously the people there would actually fill it with probably their one full march, uh, a million or maybe half a million, and another big guy would actually just hit that and then gone and then they would actually the enemy would pour into uh, your hive and then you'll start to you'll start to burn everybody around so uh, my idea again it's a, it's a it's a simple thing so what i would say is just try to kind of do a concentric circles within this right so uh, try to see this would be the middle 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 area so and then you'll have slightly longer area and then you'll have a bigger circle so uh, these are the areas that again you got to be careful where you will be left out. But uh, imagine that you will be uh, you will be uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, you'll be looking at the concentric circle. But it's not really like a concentric circle. But it's more towards explaining you that inner circle, outer circle, and the outer 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 circle, depending on how big your your uh, number of people are. So the the most inner circle you should actually place, in my opinion. You should be placing all your farms. Uh, if you if you have like bigger farms, you should be placing them kind of in the middle. So um, so just don't leave everything. So just in this inner circle area. So I, I don't know why my my boxes are really weird. So this 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 area uh, this this area here, you got to place all your farms. Um, okay. So once the farms are in, uh, again there will be some sort of uh, uh, issue for you because if you want to clear the farm you've got to send your marches uh, for long so that's one risk but what this is going to do is this is going to save uh, uh, these farms from being hit because just imagine if, if this entire hive is actually occupied your enemy is going to kind of sit somewhere here or somewhere here somewhere here so the amount of time that they need to go in here will be like crazy amount of time so they have to be vulnerable here Till the time they get their march back, and nobody would actually uh, uh, use their, uh, nobody would actually be so vulnerable just to farm uh, your 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 alliances farm. So uh, so just just try to keep those uh, in, and then the second circle is where you would actually place uh, you place your uh, smaller players and weaker players and and the bubble boys uh, or bubble girls. So these are the people who would bubble always. You you see them for the last three years, they are in the bubble. Uh, and also they will be the ones who are weaker and they don't want to fight kind of people. Uh, I mean, I'm not blaming them. I mean, again, it's a personal decision. So everybody has put in money and time and effort. So that's what that's how they choose to play. So I'm not really criticizing. But you got to keep those people in the second layer uh, because the chances of them moving is uh, literally none they won't be moving and please ensure that those people aren't going to move so these are the people who will be sitting in the second circle and then the third circle would be the ones who would be clearing the farms uh, so if you have a bigger account or uh, or some farm clearing account and make sure that again these accounts don't move uh, a lot and also the bank sorry the bank should be staying somewhere in the middle of middle of here so maybe the bank should be in the, right in the middle or somewhere in the farm area and then uh, in the in the third concentric circle that I was talking about this is where you will be 
having your mid-level players where they would be fighting but not really going out and fight they will be more of defenders and these are the areas you will also be placing your defense heavy cities so so I'm just having a beer so <clears throat> you'll be uh, placing all the defense heavy cities so this will be the trap cities where uh, if somebody wants to attack they will be going for because uh, the last concentric circle I'm going to talk about will be your big power players these are like billionaires and uh, fighters who likes to go around and hunt and uh, make points and all these players who are really active and they spend a lot of money and they can afford to go out and hunt so this is the area where they'll be staying so that they can move out freely and come in uh, so coming back to the a little bit of the inner circle here that's where you will be placing your defense city so these are the people with uh, super good defense like Kurgans and patience and it, it, it'll be so annoying for people to even zero them even if they are really small so you should place all the cities with heavy defense and people who don't want to fight uh, they should be uh, sitting here so if some guy is going to port immediately there they're going to eye the bigger player uh, this sorry they're going to eye the bigger player here or if this guy is out or if this guy is too big for the uh, the enemy to attack the next step they'll go is they'll go to these people so they don't they don't really try to go in here because the time it will take to cover this uh, this area the the outside the people who are sitting outside here has an ability to attack and if you even caught them with one leader in and then or two leaders in you will still be able to knock them out and obviously sometimes uh, these guys are also smart they'll be sending a slow march to hit your farms uh, and then they'll they'll make you cry but at least they are, they they'll take a long time to clear and that's when what you can do is you can get the the farm clearers to clear it faster and then amount amount of uh, uh, farm, amount of resource that these guys would actually take would be lesser you know you know what I mean so that's something uh, that you can do so uh, so just trying to go back uh, to uh, to this map let me clear all this and then I'm going to draw uh, a concentric circle to explain uh, to to you how this is going to work uh, and Okay, so, uh, so I'm going to draw, draw the concentric circles here. So uh, this part here is what I would actually call this for your, your bank and your funds. Okay, so the second degree of your defense, this, this one will be your weaker players, like really like tiny players and I mean there, there will be some you've got to save them so uh, weaker players will be sitting right inside so it will be really hard to zero them and, and again the most of the enemies try to do is they go and hit all the small people and then the small people would cry on the alliance chat and then the whole alliance would go whoa 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 whoa, whoa we're getting hit blah 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 they create so much of chaos that you the general and the leaders would take wrong decisions so that's that's one of the tactics that a lot of big players do so they will actually pour in and start with hit small players. So you keep the weaker players somewhere in the first and second uh, uh, second uh, region so that you will be kind of safe. And then the third region uh, would be, I would call the, uh, the clearers and traps and the defenders. So clearers and traps and defenders. Okay. And uh, you can also, again, uh, it, it, uh, it's up to you if you want to keep in your second uh, concentric circle to keep the bubbles, uh, the bubble people, so who would be bubble forever. You can keep them inside so that they will actually save uh, the spot. So you don't really have to worry that somebody would sit right in the middle of your, your, uh, your hive. Uh, so here, try not to keep the bubble ones here. Uh, you can also actually keep the bubble ones here. So. Uh, but I would say keep them in right in the middle so that they don't move. You know that they won't move, and then uh, they'll be more sec they'll secure the high for you. And uh, the last one here, this is where you can get all your uh, all your fighters. So again, I think it depends on the mix of your alliance. I'm sure a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of you might have. Um, uh, 
all fighters, then there's no point in all this theory. But I know a lot of alliance have a good mix of these people. So uh, and then uh, these are the movers. So which they keep moving and stuff. So one of the pros and cons about this is the the uh, drawback is people who are the weak players here. They would be the ones always sending the march out to gather resources, uh, especially if they have the uh, harvest events stuff. Uh, so they might have trouble in uh, walking a long distance to get there. So uh, that's one of the things that you need to sacrifice to, to save your alliance. So if you're a weaker player, you're not going to fight, but at least try to save the hive um, and the resource farms and everything. So you gotta, you gotta help them in a way. And, and also being in the middle will actually help the bigger players would actually send, uh, they'll be sending you uh, the, uh, uh, the resource from all over. So don't worry about it. So I think the bigger players will always help you. So uh, the uh, plus point about this is, yeah, so this way you kind of have uh, the, uh, the, the, the farms protected. So one thing that you don't want to lose is re your resources. So you don't lose your resource to your enemies. And also try to, the reason why I draw a circle is uh, you got to try to fill this circle. So if you have farms, try to fill in, okay, done. And then go into the next, so it should be, 360 degrees you should be able to protect so if you don't do it if you do it in a way that you're only doing it in like a square what happens is uh, you still have this area unprotected so uh, try to so try to kind of fill so it's more like it's like okay you fill this in the middle with one circle as okay banks and farms done and then you start to focus start filling in this 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 area uh, until you form a nice uh, little circle or an or orbit shape uh, and then go on and on. So don't don't do a square or go straight. I think you, I think you kind of know it. So I'm I'm trying to 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 break it down to two smaller pieces for you. So this is something that I thought would be helpful if you guys uh, are trying to plan and move in. Um, so uh, that's uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in the video. Uh, and uh, one more thing, last thing, I promise. Uh, thanks for a good response on the comic that I did. I know it's a it's a lousy uh, animation, uh, but I'm just trying. Uh, and I also got some requests to do more. I have some ideas, but if you think there are some funny things that uh, happens in your region or in your alliance that you want me to do uh, as a comic strip or something like a an lousy animation, I would definitely be happy to do that. And uh, I'll also give you a shout out in my videos. Uh, I know it's I'm, I'm, I'm talking like a fucking big youtuber <laughs> I'm just at least whatever I could do for the ideas that you're giving uh, so please keep those ideas coming in for whatever type of videos you want me to do and also the comics um, and I'll give you a shout out and I'll try to do them so uh, have a great weekend everyone and uh, this weekend you'll have wars and I know everybody is uh, trying to move around and a lot of chaos try to Try to save the power. This is where you need to start saving power, not three months ago. Uh, right now, you got to save power. Uh, try to make friends and try to join the alliances or the families as soon as possible. It's the right time. If you miss the boat now, it's less than a week now. You will be you will be struck or stuck all alone. So please don't uh, waste your time. Try to reach out to other regions if you haven't decided your family. So. Uh, have a great weekend again and I'll see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.